What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Five of eight party people in the queue. And uh, away we go. I, I started recording because I assume this will fill in seconds, apparently. Okay, we're gonna seven eight. That's it. That's all you got. There we go. There it is. There's a D toots in here. Orcish Bowmaster <laughs> might be better than Demonic Tutor, to be honest with you. Upheaval. What do you guys think? What What do you guys think the pick is? Yes, I agree that that green decks generate a lot of variance and awkward curve because you need ramp plus finishers. But when your deck has an abundance of both, uh, usually shouldn't be that big of a problem. And it also shouldn't happen six different games in a row or else mon or else green ramp decks just wouldn't be a thing because the variance would be so high. So Utopia Sprawl. I, I do think it might be I do think it might be Bowmaster. I'm kind of put off by upheaval right now, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to take the Bowmaster over a Demonic Tutor, which is something I'd never thought I'd do. Like, I have a... <laughs> I have a, a Beta Tutor in my cube that I paid, like, 400 bucks for, and it's funny that, I, like, a Bowmaster might just be better than that. That's magic for you, just like Richard Garfield intended. I think it's Mystic Confluence here, because I just love a Mystic Confluence. And there's two reanimate spells in here, which means... Someone else is going to take one, or we're going to get both if we take one. So what do you think? <laughs> or we can take Mystic Confluence and, and maybe this Dark Slick Shores tables. Yeah, I'm going to take this Mystic Confluence because that sounds solid. I I think Palantir has been really, really good every time I've had it. Yeah, Shores will definitely table 100%. I agree with that. I'm going to take Palantir. We're going to take all the Lord of the Rings cards we can find here. Oh, I like a I like an Archon of Cruelty. Um, yeah, we're definitely taking that. Ledger Shredder's great, but I think Archon's power level is just significantly higher, and it's probably not going to be very hard to get it into play somehow in a black deck. So, yeah, all of these cards are super good. I'm fans of all of them so far. Charter Course is a great way to get an Archon in the graveyard. Uh, let's take Charter Course. I like Cauldre Complete, but it doesn't feel like we're going to be getting a Stoneforge Mystic and or playing a Stoneforge Mystic, so. Man, you guys remember that last draft? Good times. Oh, I like a Rona and a, and a Sheldock Isle. I think Rona's a little better. If we get either one of those ramp pieces, or those reanimate pieces back, I'm... Pretty okay with that. Plus, Rona lets you, uh... Well, shit. <laughs> it's your boy. Uh, God, I love a... I like a Venser, but I really like a Leovold. Um, Archon's not a great flash target. It literally only triggers one time. Like, you're literally... You're, you're losing two cards. You're losing Flash and Archon. In order to draw one card, Lightning Helix them and make them sack a creature or Planeswalker. I mean, that's just not great. I think Voidwalker's fine. I think I'm just going to stick with Vents. Oh, God. I'm, I'm going to stick with Venser because we don't have any lands. I just think it's it's safer. And we could have taken Overgrown Tomb if we actually took the Venser. That's sad. Or the Leovold. That's sad. Um, I like a Miscalc. I also like a Chromo Seed Shark. Chromo Seed Shark has been overperforming every time I've had it. I'm going to take the Seed Shark. Now we're taking Flooded Strand for sure. And Necromancy. I'm going to take Necromancy over Dark Slick Shores. We have Rona and Chart, of course. This is a forest. This is a forest and an island. I wonder if that's any good. 
We'll see if Leovold tables. <laughs> I don't even know if he was in a pack that could table. I think he was. We took him over Vencer, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it was seventh pick. So I think he'd have to be literal last pick. It's unlikely. Um, Bantland, huh? I'll take a grist. Are you winning, son? Babe, no. Not even close. Oh my god, the last oh my god, the last the last round was absolutely the last draft itself was absolutely disgusting. I went 06. It was the worst experience of my life. I like a cryptic command. I also like a gristle brand. I think it's gristle brand here, right? But I'm here. Uh, I mean, Mox Diamond's fine. I I think I'd rather have Gristlebrand, though, because we obviously have some things to build around here. Cryptic might actually wheel. It's, it's a very difficult card to cast. I don't think Gristlebrand will. Plus, there's like Cryptic, Phantasmal Image, Death. There's a lot of cards that could wheel. Oh, a Polluted Delta. Yes. Yes, please. Papa Laiku. Also, Fracture Identity seems very good. Our, and we also have Spara's Headquarters and Flooded Strand. <sighs> I think we're taking flag, Fractured Identity here. There's a Subtlety. Which is not bad. It's like the only card we'd even remotely play in here, I think. Yeah, we'll take Subtlety. Fracture Identity is gross. I think it's definitely like S tier in the cube. Um, I mean, this is two of our colors. This lets us discard. I also think that this Gix is just really good. I'm going to take Gix. I think Gix is actually surprisingly good. Oh, Underground Sea? Wow. Phenomenal. Um, yeah, that was really good. In a pack with, like, not too much as well. Oh, a Talisman of Hierarchy seems great. It lets us cast Fractured Identity. It's also one of our other two colors. Yeah, all right, I'll take Talisman here. Treachery, huh? And a Shinobi? Hmm. I think it's got to be Shinobi. Oh, God, but Treachery. Oh, but Shinobi. Oh, man. These are, like, two of my favorite cards. I think it has to be treachery. I hate to say it. But I do think there's a chance that the Shinobi might come back. Also, Urtai is great. I'll take an Urtai. This is, see? This is what I'm saying. Cryptic Command. Cryptic Command is surprisingly hard to cast. Phantasmal Image also interesting. I think we're going to take Cryptic Command here. I think we are a control deck. Oh man, Breeding Pool could have been good if we were green, but it looks like we're Esper. I'm going to take suspicious, suspicious Stowaway as another discard outlet, which is really, really good. Is Soul Herder good? Not really. We don't have a ton of... We can Blink Venser or Subtle... No, Blinking Subtlety is not great. It doesn't... You can, we can keep Blinking Urtai and then kill their, their creatures. I mean, honestly, it's the it's the only option here. We wouldn't play Sun Titan or... Blinking Archon is super cute. I'll take a Tringa Mage. Sea Chrome Coast. Stone's Throw is right. I'll take a Sword. And all right. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. If this tower or this godless shrine comes back, that'll be fantastic. But we're just taking the, we're just taking the the good goods. Oh, counter spell! I would actually, I I just take a regular counter spell. I also consider this Oko because we do have Spara's headquarters 
and Flooded Strand currently. I think it might just be Counterspell. It's just nice to have a Counterspell. Plus, we're not messing up our mana. I looked outside, and it looks like a little bit dark, and I'm like, oh, maybe it's like, maybe it's a little cloudy out. And then I think I looked on the lower left-hand corner of my screen, and it says 97 degrees, and I'm like, not cloudy at all. Plus, Counterspell, if we get, like, Snapcaster, it makes Snapcaster much better. Our deck is actually surprisingly heavy blue. With, like, a couple black cards and, like, a white card, which is probably good. We could take this as a dual land. We could also just take, like, Frost Titan as, like, a castable gentleman. I think it might be Lounge here. Oh, Creeping Tar Pit seems good. I mean, I wish it wasn't a land that came into play tapped, but... Also, one thing I don't like about my own cube, and it's echoed in this cube, is that I have currently Suspicious, suspicious Stowaway, Rona, and Jace. And having three two-mana looters seems like a lot. I think one needs to be cut, because it's just a lot of redundancy. <laughs> this card is very strange. An 0-4 defender for one. You make it a 3-4. And then you can choose a card from their hand. They discard it and then draw a card. I'd almost rather have the Fairy Mastermind. Or Custody Lich. I think I'd rather have something cheaper here, though. Especially one that can be played at Flash. At Flash. Is that how that's said? You can play it at Flash. That doesn't make any sense. This is a Vindicate, which is very good. My concern is, like, our black and white sources both attached to the same card here. Which makes it a little trickier. But, like, we're not going to play any of these. Maybe we just take Dream Halls and we can discard, like, Bowmaster to play Archon. And then Necromancy to play Gristlebrand. And then draw a bunch of cards. And then discard our blue cards to play green cards and red cards and white cards. And none of those things work. But you get what I'm saying. Dream Halls could be good here. But I don't know. We also only have like one reanimate card, right? So yeah, let's take the Dream Halls. It's just another way to cast these guys without having to actually like... Because we only have Necromancy. We didn't actually fill up on other reanimate cards. Um, This might be worth it with just Counterspell Ancestral. Oh, we have actually Counterspell, Ancestral, uh, Mystic Confluence, and Cryptic Command. Yeah, this seems great. I do like a Thieving Skydiver. I also kind of just like Toxic Deluge. Or Consider. Factor Fiction's a little expensive. I think I might just want like a Consider or a Thieving... I think I want a Thieving Skydiver. I think this is just a really solid card. In the oh, look, both came back. Yeah, I think we take Tower here. Discard... Basic land, huh? I want to take Sower here. I hate this Talarian Academy. Sure. All right, this could be our Dream Halls deck. Also, Frost Titan did not come back, shockingly. High Tide. Okay. So I only need one cut here. I like our two-drop slot. This guy can this guy's basically a three-drop. Yeah. 
Yeah, the Dream Holes, I mean, like, we just need one other black card for Gristle Brand, but I'm not going to, like, bend over backwards for it. Um, I like... I like Rafine's Tower, Flooded, Creeping, Sea Chrome, and Underground. I don't know if we're going to play these. Like, right now, this is one, two, three white sources for one white card plus a Talisman. Plus, we could discard it a blue card to play it with Dream Halls. I would, I would cut it, but like it's just it feels too good to cut. Man, we do need one cut though. Everything seems very, very good. It might just be Fairy Mastermind, actually. That guy's kind of meh. I think we can play one more. I think it might be the white blue. Mm, I don't know if I like that. I like this deck a lot. I just worry it's going to be too slow. Well, this is 23. I'm fine with I'm fine with cutting Fairy Mastermind. I don't think it's that great. If they're drawing a bunch of cards, like then I'll board it in, but otherwise I'm not super concerned with it. So these all definitely come in. Yeah, I think I want the lounge here. I think I'd rather have another black source. Okay, so this is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Literally all my all my lands are blue sources, which is great. Uh seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one. I think this is this feels correct. I don't mind one planes. We also have a lot of ways to discard things. <laughs> oh man, Big Lou. Fucking love you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Fantastic. Oh man. That's actually hilarious. There was someone else the other day who had a name like you. And in my head, I'm like, look at that stupid piece of shit. And then I was like, wait, that's not Big Lou. Big Lou's the one who who we interact, who we call each other big pieces of shit. Oh, man. That's good stuff. <laughs> I literally don't know why that's so hilarious. Oh, God. Dude, same. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, we're just two guys from Jersey. It's secret code for I love you, man. <laughs> it's, it's so, it's so bro -y. All right, let's see if this league goes the same as the last league. And let's hope it does not. We're waiting for Hippo with an exclamation mark to decide whether they want to go first. I assume they will. And we're going to mulligan. Okay, so a good start. I'll keep it because Ancestral, but you're not doing yourself any favors here, Magic Online. All right. Well. Oh, they took two? Here comes Bird of Paradise. Nailed it. You never you never don't know what they have, you know? Um This is fascinating. If we play this, one, two, three, four, five, six, we go down to five. We can draw during their turn. Yeah, I think we're doing that because we have a lot of two drops. So I'd love to play like a suspicious stowaway or a Rona. 
in order to start looting. Here comes a here comes a Leovold. Oh, screw traveler. All right, we're just gonna give me them cards. Okay. Well, now we have to discard. So we didn't get anything that we could play. That is sad. Sag, as it were. I think we just discard Swamp here. We have four lands. Everything else seems good. Sure. Give me that card. That's not your card. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's a good show. It's a good show. I don't care about your baby. Oh, they have three cards and we have lots of goodness here. So I'm going to play this and then we're going to pass with Counterspell up and then we're going to untap it with Subtlety up. And then we're just going to start destroying everything that they love or trying to. One, two, three. What is it? What are you get? What are you doing here? I don't. I'm not super excited about this card, but I also don't want you to start amassing a bunch of nerds either. So, things that are not allowed to do. Anything? Have fun. <laughs> okay, you got a mana vault. You can have it. Island. Yeah, give me that sweet, juicy island. Unfortunately, we're not really in a position to ever cast Gix because we just want to keep these these sweet reanimations up, you know? Also, check out HelloFresh. You got about two weeks left before my promotion with HelloFresh expires. So you get free shipping. Can you believe it? Free shipping and half off your first box. 50%. You got a meal for seven bucks, it's three fifty. Meal for nine, it's four fifty. That's how math works, guys. Let's cast this, huh? Under the sea. Wow. They pitched a subtlety to counter our subtlety. So they have no cards in hand. I want to put this on the bottom. I don't need it again. It's done its job. Wow, that's funny. Well, I guess I couldn't have cast Urtai there either, so. We can Urtai their Oko, which seems pretty decent. However, now they have a clock on us, and that's unfortunate. Oh, boy. I felt so good about everything, you know? So I think I'm going to let them use their Oko again. I'm going to Mystic Confluence, bounce their bird and their, their Mana Vault, because they're probably going to make their Mana Vault a creature. And then I'll draw a card. Return a creature to its owner's hand. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that guy. Oh, bird. All right. 
Oh, a talisman? Sounds good. Cryptic command, eh? All right, hopefully they just hit nothing, I guess. Okay, that's fine. It's obnoxious, but I think it's fine. He's not... He can't regenerate, right? Oh, he has Indestructible? Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three... Okay, so we can actually play Gix and keep up. Corporate Command? That seems good. I got to live my vintage cube dream last night. Channel plus fourth Aerolingus. Wow, that seems really good. I'll tap green, green, white, red, and I'll pay 19 life to make 19 two twos with trample. Well, the nice thing, we can take five from the turtle. It's a tiny rig for, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's for landscape in the turtle terrarium. I don't think turtles live in terrariums. Oh, wow, they're going to do something nasty. Regrowth. Getting subtlety back. That's interesting because now we like they're always gonna have subtlety up, but they can't counter a cryptic command with a subtlety. And they're not gonna play the other spell because they have subtlety. So I'm wondering if I just counter this and draw a card. This is this is this is fascinating. I mean, yeah, we're just gonna do this. I'm also surprised they didn't get Oko. Oko seems significantly better here now. Black, black, black. We're one black away from this gristle brand, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm tempted to double block here because they don't have anything. He has indestructible. That's not going to work the way we want it to. Let's try. This is like a this is like a uh, questing beast over here with 14 abilities on it. Oh, that's very good. Holy smokes. We could also draw two here. I guess I could have waited to play a a swamp. Oh, gosh, I just panicked. <laughs> that's okay. That's what I like to do. I like to put you guys in a constant state of panic, you know? You got it. I'll draw one card instead. Oh, what I can do is activate Gix, though. Well, Michael's door handle just fell off again. I don't know why he doesn't fix it like a normal person, but who knows? Uh, we can cast them next turn. I, I mistakenly played this, not remembering I was going to draw a card. <clears throat> uh... 
under the sea. I don't want to go to, I really don't want to go to three here. So I'm actually just going to play this as a man. And we'll ancestral. Presumably. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, this is this went better than the previous draft for sure. Let's begin sideboarding. What do we got here? Uh, Sower of Temptation can actually steal a lot of their guys, and it doesn't look like they have a ton of good answers for a Sower. So that's interesting. Let's take out the subtlety and bring in a Sower. If I'm not mistaken, you can steal a, a Thrun with a Sower because it's not a red spell, or it's not a spell, it's a, a non-green spell, rather. It's a just an ability. And breath sea. Yeah. Oh man, Hunter's Tail just strummed the guitar. That's kind of funny. I will... This is a keeper. We can get our Rafine's Tower here. <laughs> Into Charter Course or Thieving Sky Tower. All right, let's yield to the end step. I don't foresee us uh, responding to anything here. Oh, yeah, let's get that sweet tower. What if I misclicked and got a planes? Boy, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? I don't think we have any incentive to chart a course here. We don't have anything we want to discard. Uh, we'd actually have to discard one, two, three, four, five... One, two, three. No, we wouldn't have to discard because the Charter Course actually replaces itself equally if you don't have a creature. I guess we're going to Palantir and assume they'll probably... Oh, maybe we Shark first. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this. Like, they can Subtlety. I guess they could, They got Spell Pierce in their deck, though. Uh, maybe it should have been... Okay. It's not, it's neither of those. Yep, sounds good. No. Interesting. Well, I kind of want to hit land here, and also we have... A gristle brand to discard, so that's fun. And we did not hit a land. Fantastic. <laughs> There's always a hiccup, isn't there? Always a hiccup. Hey, look at that. We did it. We did it. Now we get to play this guy. What are you gonna do here? Subtlety this guy? I don't think so, man. You're being a real you're being a real fart face. Get out of here, fart face. Snap. Fascinating. 
We have two cards. We have six. This guy. This guy. Shark Sharkington, reporting for duty. Miscalculation. No, something something dastardly. Oh, will we get to draw a card? What could it be, I wonder? A Xander's Lounge. Okay. <laughs> Phenomenal. Eat my gristle brand immediately, I dare you. No? Okay. Ooh, interesting. I'm tempted to play this, but I'm also tempted to just let this guy flip. I think letting him flip is a little better. Presuming they don't play anything. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, eat that eat that seed shark. Hoping they don't have another counter spell in hand. Cause that would make me cry. Cause we're just gonna play Venser here and bounce their scavenging ease and block their Urtai. Never don't have it. <laughs> it's never easy. Torrential Gear Hulk. Mystic Confluence. Wow. So we just have the same exact deck, I guess. Cool. <sighs> nope. Can't pay three. Boy, that's obnoxious. Yep. Oh boy. So I think we just destroy this <laughs> while they're tapped out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it flips back, though. That's sad. Well, they go up to five cards here. Yeah, Dream Halls is just a card I just don't want to play. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I don't feel like we would have been super advantaged with it if we played it, and they might have been. I don't know. Like, them being able to discard a blue card to cast a free Mystic Confluence seems really good for them. I could see taking Dream Halls and Thieving Skydiver out here. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's cool.
Beautiful. Interesting. Well, I don't have any counter spells here. Oh, Packrat, have a good have a good afternoon slash night, buddy. Dream Halls might just be in for the ultimatums. I thought it'd be kind of cool because we have like Archon and Gristlebrand, and like maybe we can play those guys, but. Really? Fascinating. Hmm. Well, that's an easy choice, I guess. I was just throw a Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw can't target black creatures. Good point. Good point. Yeah, I feel like Thieving Skydiver and Dreamhills come out. Um, Thieving Skydiver, I guess, can steal. No, it doesn't matter. Yep, I was going to say food tokens, but that's not super exciting. But now we're fractured identitying this guy and seeing if that makes a difference. Guess we'll take two. So subtlety's gone, days is gone. Mystic Confluence is gone. I don't know what other counter spells they could possibly have. But now we have Necromancy, so we can actually get a Subtlety or an Urtai back if they do try to counter a spell. One, two, three, four, five. I would be surprised if they had Cryptic as well. Then our decks are basically identical. Except they're splashing green and we're splashing black or white. White. At your face, at your Sahili. <clears throat> oh, it's your boy. Well, we're still going to play around Spell Pierce because that makes sense that that'd be one of the few cards they have in their hand. Let's get rid of Dream Halls. Let's play our land here. Create a food token. And do a little passing. And Necromancy being a counter spell is pretty cool here. Sower. I think you're going to steal Urtai here, which I don't like. Let's see if it's Spell Pierce. <laughs> it's Spell Pierce. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. You got it. So we go to one here, but we have Archon 
and a food token. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we can hit one land, we can actually play both. But they're actually just going for our face anyway, so that's okay. Knight's Whisper, target us. No, you can't do that. I guess you got to sign in blood. Okie dokie. Um, <clears throat> well. Very strong. So we go back to seven here. Um, oof, I want to keep both of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have ten mana. Um, we'll get rid of Skydiver here. We're not going to play it. We're going to keep food up. What can we give them that... We can give them this food and take this sower. And then we have a lot of blockers. This is also a 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, this feels correct. Like they have no cards. We have three blockers. We're at four. I'm in the drive-thru for Swig right now. <laughs> uh, Josh, I think you might have a soda addiction. I'm just looking out for you. Okay, we win the match. Feels good. Okay, let's go to edit deck. I don't know if I want Dream Halls in here. Fairy Mastermind might just be better. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Josh, if you're actually getting diet set every time, it's significantly healthier. <laughs> Okay, let's play. I do like Sword of Fire and Ice, and I always just want to play a Sword of Fire and Ice because it feels good in my soul. Going to my first MTG tourney since Rivals of Ixalan tomorrow. Everything is basically still the same. Yeah, actually, I mean, as long as you know modern cards, I, which I assume you do if you're playing a deck, you know. What's the what's the format? Fire and Ice, the duality of man. Uh, its legacies are basically the same. Touche. Uh, I guess we're just gonna play. This is this is this is satisfying. Oh no. Okay. Underground river. We don't have an underground river. He meant underground sea. Okay. <clears throat> we don't want to play anything here, right? No, we're just going to play Bozies and then play Gix. Gix. 
and they're going to draw their card. And Bowmasters doesn't do anything because it's the first card they've drawn. Oh, no, it still would have triggered. Oh, no, it would have triggered. Oh, God, Bowmasters has that confusing wording where it's like, if they would have drawn a card, period. It's not like whenever they draw their second card each turn, which is what I think it is, because that's literally what Fairy Mastermind is. Right? It's weird because there's a lot of there's a lot of different wordings for cards like that. It's like the Restoration Angel thing where like you have this ability that's very very common. But like you some things are mild modifications of that thing. Oh, that's interesting. What did they get? Huntmaster? That's satisfying. Yeah, definitely draw a card. <laughs> definitely draw a card. Underground Sea was a really good draw there, because now we can Cryptic Command. But now we want to cast a spell so that guy doesn't flip. So it's really the duality of man here, you know? Watson, don't do it. I guess we're just getting in there with this guy. If they want to double block, I'll trade with Huntmaster. That's totally fine. Or we can Cryptic Command bounce the wolf. Save the Gix. Kind of just tempted to play this so it doesn't flip. I have five cards in hand. That's a lot of cards. But also, this lets us play either one of these next turn, which I think is correct. Oh, they're not going to... Oh, they're just going to let it flip. Brutal. Hmm. Yeah, boy. Okay, you got it. Kill my little bow boys. Goodbye, little bow boys. Well, I'm tempted to treachery this, but I think they have a counterspell. I have an assumption. I have a weird, weird assumption. Oh. Oh, my stars and garters. If you guys know who says that, I will be very impressed. I think Michael just laughed. He did a little chuckle. I can hear him laughing in the distance. There's nothing nothing that gets you gets you happier than the sound of a child's laughter, you know. You got it. Ponderosa. I feel like this treachery on this Ravager is the kind of play that would have been backbreaking if they countered it, but it's actually like, uh, <laughs> like unbeatable now that they didn't, because now we still get to keep up Cryptic Command. Like the tempo we've obtained is ridiculous. They're gonna crack that immediately. Oh, okay. I'll choose this guy. Interesting. So my guy flips back. That's kind of cool. Give me that wolf. I literally have like no incentive to cast anything here with Torrential Gear Hulk, Cryptic Command, and Mystic Confluence in hand. Do we also get to draw three cards? <laughs> they gotta have something, right? 
I do mean treachery is a good magic card. One, two, three. You think they're going to have a Pestermite? Subtlety. Subtlety. Life has new meaning to me. <clears throat> well, I think we're just Mystic Confluing. This. Mystic Confluing. Uh, counter a creature. Draw two. One, two, three, four, five. Good night, sweet prince. And then we get to draw like two more, three more. Oh, dear Jesus. I'll do it once because I want one card. If we hit a, if, if we hit a land, oh man. I think we just, actually we can do it once more and then easily discard Archon here. Because our hand is just, Absolutely brutal. Oh, they have Relic, though. I don't want to discard Archon. I just want to cast it. T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. He wants to hunt. I guess Charter Course can go. That was not Seal. This is not Kiss from a Rose. It's not Seal. Everybody knows that. Are they just going to kill us here? No, because it doesn't have haste. Oh, they're going to untap in Kiki Jiki. Do we have anything we can do? Did we just lose this game even though we had it locked up? Because that's fucking sad. Cool. I can't believe we just lost this game. Oh, God. Welp. What did you tell us to unban twin? What does that even mean? This is vintage cube. There's no banned cards in it. What's the joke, Derek? God. We need a moderator in here. Somebody, somebody escort this gentleman out of here. Uh, we're going to mulligan this hand. I guess we'll keep this. Discard into... Get rid of you. Get out of here. I heard you in a mod. What can I do? Oh my god, is that Nobert's himself? Wow. This is incredible. What a day. <laughs> Oh, that's a, see, that's a funny emoji. And I feel like I need more animated emojis because those are just chef's kiss, you know? I read that as I literally just pooped and I was like, okay, well, that's great. But popped in about 15 seconds ago. Your timing is impeccable. <sighs> we should have just let that subtlety happen. We should have played around stupid Kiki. G like, I wasn't even thinking of it because we, they got Huntmaster with their friggin' Imperial Recruiter, which should have tipped me off, I guess. But, like, we didn't see any of the other components. We didn't see Deceiver Exarch. We didn't see Kiki Jiki. We didn't see Splinter Twin. We had no indication they were a twin deck. Except for Imperial Recruiter, which they didn't get any of the three pieces that they usually get. So that's kind of weird. Yeah, get your little get your little crab out there. Land. Rona. Land would be great. Then we can play Rona into Talisman or, you know, vice versa, obviously. Mm, actually, I'll play that. I'll play that. Um, get rid of Archon. And we're going to hit a land here. Just kidding. <laughs> Fantastic. Two lands, 11 cards. Wonderful. Uh, 
Um, I don't see, I don't think it feels like a legacy cube. That's weird. People keep saying that, but like, it still has power. And like the only difference between the legacy cube and the vintage cube is that it has power in it. Right. So like, I don't feel like it's a legacy cube now. That seems funny to me. Like you're still doing powerful stuff. See, if this was a, if this was an Orzov signet, we could not cast Rona here. This is probably the exact example that I think of when I think of like why talismans are better than signets. Let's see if they got Splinter Twin too. They got the whole deck. Oh, of course they do. Fantastic. <sighs> Amazing. Never don't have that. See, I love it when my opponents play their combo decks because you get to watch the combo. But when I play my combo decks, I get to watch their combo as well. So it's really nice that like, if I ever want to watch someone else combo off against me, it doesn't matter if I have a combo in my deck or not. I just get to watch it happen anyway. Some delicious case. <laughs> oh, man. Shua Garner. Yeah, Shua Garner is is a is a diet soda and torchies obsessive. He's a crazy man. I love pizza combos. Katie hates them and she thinks they're gross. And I will never not love pizza combos. And I don't know how much of it is the fact that I grew up with them and they were like a, a staple when I was a kid. And maybe they're trash, but my taste buds just appreciate them. Same thing with bagel bites. I love a fucking bagel bite. I get that they're like, it's like a lunchable pizza, but I mean, it's like so much better than that. And come on, man, pizza combos and bagel bites. All right. This hand looks good. I vomited up pizza flavored Pringles at a summer camp one time. Pizza combos around me of that. Yeah, that I can understand. That doesn't sound like it's fun. I think the legacy thing comes from the game being much more grindy. Now I feel like it's been way harder to pull off early game combo kills and have also not been comboed super early anymore. Also bagel, but isn't that better? Bagel bites are the worst because the microwave weird and get hard. I, I disagree with the microwave part. I actually like that. They're kind of chewy when you put them in the microwave, but anyway, I mean, I can understand bagel bites are not, um, not for everyone. That's totally fine. But, like, I don't think they've taken out enough stuff to really, like, destroy the combos. That's the thing. Like, what do you attribute, like, what cards specifically do you attribute to being slower and grindier and not being able to pull off early game combos? Because I feel like a lot of those combos are not gone, really. They're just, I mean, they're not. You know, like, you can still channel into things. Sneak attacking through the breach are still in here. All the storm components are still in here. Like it just, it, you know what I mean? Like it feels like they're not, I don't think they took out any of the really big combos. I mean, and someone just destroyed me on like turn two with like 12 mana because they had Talarian Academy, Mox Opal, Mana Vault, Candelabra. It was, it was pretty brutal. Well, we don't have anything to play here. What if we draw Gristlebrand? Wouldn't that be cool? That's not it. Well, so they get a Euro here. I guess they're in, maybe they're shuffling. No, they didn't shuffle. Euro. 
Jesus, God Hunter. But no blue mana, huh? I guess they're going to go get a blue mana. Watch this. I would love to take a poll and see if pizza combos or miracle whip is more accepted. I would wager pizza combos. However, I don't have evidence and I'm not sure. Oh, Goldie. That's really good, but we can also just treachery it if we hit a land. Top two, one of the top two cards needs to be a land. That was beautiful. Wish I could untap it. Wouldn't that be cool? They get another one, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. I call Miracle Whip mayonnaise with sweet and low in it. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. Um, I guess we just keep a bird tie here and we can, uh, so we know they have Euro. They're going to draw finale. Okay. They still don't have a blue. Oh, I guess they have treasures. Oh man, are they just gonna do a big Euro here? That's kind of cool. It's not cool, just kidding. Just sweet mayo. Some of us are just raised in a miracle of household. <laughs> what is this, what is this going on here? I know you have Euro and Finale. Those are the two things I'm sure about. I'm sure -o about those. Oh, so this is just finale number two. I see. Um, one. Got a black, I guess. Two, three, four. And then next turn, we still get a Mystic Confluence. I think we do pitch this. Uh, counter target. Spell activated a big ability or trigger. God, Urtai can do so much. Also, I love the combination of Urtai and um, like Orcish Bowmasters and Fairy. What's his name? Fairy Mastermind. Oh, my buddy Scam Likely's calling me. Cool. I'll have to get, I'll have to call him back. Man, I love it when Scam calls. Expressive Iteration. So you still have a Euro and Finale. Lumberjack, Spire... Okay, so what happened? You played Steam Vents. Spire Bluff Canal entered the Exile Zone. Hmm. I'm assuming you put Nissa in hand. He's going to keep playing lands. Oh, yeah. Just keep playing those lands. Bone Boy. Bone Crush. This is good because I feel like we have a lot of power on board. We could also flip Rona. Oh, and we get to exile a card from there. Oh, they get to, they get to choose, right? So their hand is Euro, Nissa, or Bone Crusher. No, F Euro, Finale, and Nissa in one random card, I guess.
I mean, we're not we're not going to flip here because we just want to keep up uh, Mystic Confluence. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nice because we have Mystic Confluence and we can activate Necromancy at instant speed to get Urtai if we really want to. So the Drew Bone Crusher seems good. It's the confluence for finale for four. Nissa. Uh, double two, draw a card. Okay, we win the game. Fantastic. Fantastic. I would bring in Sower, but they have Bone Crusher Giant. See, like, this is what I was confused about, because this says whenever an opponent draws their second card each turn, draw a card. This says whenever an opponent draws a card, except for the first one they draw. So, like, in my head, I'm like, okay, it doesn't count the first one they draw. So that's their second card. So that's got to be that's got to be what it does. It's so funny, like, there's so many cards that have, like, very subtle variations of abilities. I feel like Sword of Fire and Ice could be good, but I also feel like we don't really need it. Oh, wow, that's a good one. I'm going to mulligan. I'm going to keep. And I guess we're putting Archon of Cruelty back. Which seems totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic. Um, so we can actually just Ancestral on their turn, right? And go down to eight cards. Because then we have Island Talisman. Yes, maybe we can watch... Um, we can watch some Justified after this. Cool. Always a good time. I guess we'll discard an island here. I presume by the time we need to play our fourth land, we should have drawn more lands by that point, so. And we did. So next turn, we can do nothing. But then things get spicy. Torrential Gear Hulk being able to cast Mystic Confluence or Ancestral seems pretty good. Oh, what up, Mike the Mailman? And if you guys want to support the channel, feel free to subscribe or follow. They're great ways to do so. Really, really appreciate both of those methods. You got it. So Euro off the tip. I guess I could just delete everything but the Euro, and that's the same thing. Efficiency. Creeper. That's actually a pretty good draw here because now we can just play it tapped and no harm done. I've, I think the cube has felt fine. Um, I think there's definitely some questionable choices. I would l see personally my, in my own personal vintage cube, I would take out storm and I would add bribery back. Those would be the two main changes. I think storm is a one-sided unfun play experience. And I think you get like 15 to 20 cool cards that you can just add if you take out Storm. Wow, two fetch lands. Okay, Bone Crusher's gone. Noble, that's better. Let me guess, Noble's gone. No, they're going to do something else. Sylvan Library, that's very good. Don't like that. I kind of just want to steal this. Um, hmm. The Bone Crusher's gone. They have two cards in hand. Yeah, let's take this. 
And then we get to untap and play another land. Good deal. If we didn't get to untap here, it would have been a completely different choice. But we do. So now we actually get to keep up Mystic or Venser. I guess we don't get to cast this. <laughs> that's not how that works. But we get to keep up Mystic, and that's cool. Also, not being able to set up their library to, draw, to, to play extra lands off of Sylvan is pretty huge. Odd is a kind of way to put it. <laughs> and that's funny because I actually, I absolutely love Ryan Spain, who is like the, um, I think he's like the creative director of MTGO right now. And he's like, makes a, he, he's in charge of almost all of the cube right now. Um, actually, I'm going to reach out to Ryan and see if maybe I can have my Innistrad cube showcased. Wouldn't that be cool? I think they're going to concede after this. That's my guess. We're going to draw two and counter this guy. And then we're going to untap with uh, Mystic Confl with uh, Torrential Gear Hulk up. So. Oh, wow. We just got to untap here? Oof. No? Yes. Oh, boy. This is nice. Ooh, a little county spell, eh? Well, we're going to attack here, and then we're going to play chart, of course. Are, wait, are we? Hold on, we got one, two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. I think we actually just keep a Torrential Gear Hulk for that sweet clock. I guess we draw a counter spell, right? And we get to hit, we get the potential to hit lands here. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah, okay. So one, two. And now we have both Venser and Counterspell up if we need either. So that's pretty good. We could have also played Palantir. So they got Euro in the trash can, but we can, we can counter this, right? You're just casting it. You may cast this card. Great, great. I will not counter a Solemn Simulacrum. The Salami Simulacrum for your mommy. I mean, next time we're going to have Gear Hulk, Venser, Counterspell, and Urtai in hand, and we can cast two of them. Actually, we can cast almost any two. We can cast Gear Hulk and Counterspell. We can cast Urtai and Venser. And then any combination of those things. I'm tempted to just Venser and bounce this. But they have two cards. I don't know what they are. I don't think we need it. Land on top. Lightning bolt of that. No, don't do that. Beautiful. I'm going to crack this because I want to hit another land. We did not. Sad. Sag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we're just playing Tal uh, Palantir and keeping up Urtai and the other dude. The goal is to get grindy. Scry two. Um, I 
I'm going to put this one on the bottom. I'm going to put the mastermind on top. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, now we get to draw fractured identity. That's pretty good. I actually should have put mastermind second. And then we could have drawn it. It's pretty good with Sylvan Library. Nissa, huh? Well, they can't replay it this turn, so we'll actually use the Venser here. Now they're going to bone crush this Oracle. They've been waiting for so long. Okay, Corsair, sure. That's much better. <laughs> Two lands on top. Come on. That's not... None of those are lands. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. They saw Grizzlebrand and they're like, well, can't deal with that. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on Twitch. Be sure to follow and subscribe on Twitch if you get the chance. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free sub every month, and you can easily use that for me or any of your favorite content creators. If you don't sub to me with Amazon Prime, be sure you sub to someone, though, because it's a great way to support content creators, and it costs you nothing if you have Amazon Prime. Check out HelloFresh, 50% off your first box, and free shipping. It's a great deal and a great way to support the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.